Hello students, my name is Arlene Puyi. I am a Geography SS2 teacher. Today we are going to study India location and size chapter number one. India size and location. India is unique in its physical and diversity. Okay, we have a large variety of religions, races, languages, and creative architectural wonders. Equally diverse is the country's relief, climate, and vegetation. Let us learn about the geographical location and size of our country. Separated from the rest of Asia by the lofty Himalayan mountain range in the north, the Indian subcontinent touches three large water bodies, that is, Bay of Bengal, Arabian Sea and the Indian Ocean to its south. India is often called a subcontinent because it is a distinct landmass, not just a country. A place is classed as a continent when it is part of a continent but is considered either geographically or politically as an independent entity or it is smaller than a continent. Here there is an important question. What is the difference between a continent and a subcontinent? Do you know the difference between a continent and a subcontinent? A continent is a large landmass whose borders are defined by oceans, whereas a continent subcontinent is a large, relatively a self contained landmass formed as a subdivision of a continent kan soi to angkhan india ram hi north lama asia ram matrangin himalayan mountain in minchen sanga south lama water bodies lian deu deu pathum bay of bengal arabian sea le indian ocean te asibokani india ram hi subcontinent te inan bo a achan chu it has a distinct landmass it has a distinct features ke e tang lambi Pian Pung Dang Lambi Katyanka Anea Vankanin Subcontinent Tinan Boa Subcontinent He Continent I in Ateshet Ane India comprises high mountains, fertile plains, deserts, plateaus, rivers, and oceans. It is diverse in terms of climate, wildlife, natural vegetation, and other resources. Okay. After a brief introduction of India, let us understand the location of India in the world map. The globe can be divided into the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. What is Northern Hemisphere and Southern Hemisphere? Do you know the difference between Northern Hemisphere and Southern Hemisphere? The Northern Hemisphere refers to the half of the planet that is north of the equator, while the Southern Hemisphere is all of the planet south of the equator. Okay. Ne. India ram ram om na shat yang to chuanin world map patang kan India hi ko yang om ti country at jan masak ko tangai na kan so yang in globe ka northern hemisphere le southern hemisphere and china northern hemisphere kan ti chuan equator north north of the equator equator marlam zonga ka northern hemisphere ni a Swan Equator, Simlam, Zongaka, Southern Hemisphere, Tian Bwani. Swan India Ram Hi, Northern Hemisphere, Akan Oma. Swan, Tropic of Cancer, Hyanin, India Ram Hi, Alay, Taka Atan, Tangani. India is located in the Northern Hemisphere. And the globe is divided into Eastern and Western Hemisphere, okay? The Tropic of Cancer passes through the middle of India. A globe has horizontal lines known as latitude and vertical lines known as longitude. These are imaginary lines used to locate any place on the map. Okay. The hands on a point bo latitude le longitude and get the case on a can om let it a latitude can be one globe a horizontal lines is on a car latitude and the a vertical lines a car longitude and the one latitude le longitude the he. Imaginary lines and the map a moon place since you are not a tank on in 
and Mang Chinani. So we can say that all countries lie between two latitudes and two longitudes. Okay. The latitudinal extent of the mainland is from Kanyakumari at 8 degree 4 minutes north to Indirakol at 37 degree 6 minutes north. This means that the southernmost the southern tips of India lies on 8 degree 4 minutes north away from the equator. Okay. Each degree is divided into 60 minutes. Each degree is divided into 60 minutes. Okay. So we say that India lies between 8 degree 4 minutes north. Similarly, the northern tips of India lies on 37 degree 6 minutes north. When it comes to longitudinal extent, it is from Dwarka in Gujarat at 68 degrees 7 minutes east to Arunachal Pradesh at 97 degrees 24 minutes east. The latitudinal and longitudinal extent of the mainland is about 30 degrees. Okay. Despite this fact, the east-west extent appears to be smaller than the north-south extent extent in the Aram latitudinal extent ni Kanyakumari 8 degree 4 minutes north at in Indira Kol 37 degree 6 minutes north and a longitudinal extent he Dwarka Gujarat 68 degree 7 minutes east at in Arunachal Pradesh 97 degree 24 minutes east heng aoni to the southeast of the mainland lies the Andaman and Nicobar Islands, and to the southwest of the mainland lies the Alakset Wave Islands in the Bay of Bengal and Arabian Sea, respectively. Indira Kol, which lies in Siachen Glacier, is the northernmost point of India, and the southernmost point of the Indian Union is Indira Point, which lies in the Great Nicobar Islands. Okay. In terms of distance, the latitudinal extent of India from Kashmir in the north to Kanyakumari in the south is 3,214 km. India's longitudinal extent from Dharan of Kuch in the west to Arunachal Pradesh in the east is 2,933 km. Okay. Northernmost point of India in their colony in Siachen Glacier, Jammu and Kashmir State, Amini are to one southernmost point of India, he Indira Point, Great Nicobar Islands, Andaman and Nicobar Islands, Ami, Ani, Indiaram, Zhaozong, he a distance, Angatsu, to one latitudinal extent, Kashmir. Uh, Atanga Kanyakumari in Kar Zhaozong Thuy Zong Ahi 3,214 km and a longitudinal extent Thuy Zong Arunachal Pradesh Atanga Run of Kush Atanga Arunachal Pradesh in Kar Ahi 2,933 km Thuy Anibokani The Tropic of Cancer divides the country into two equal parts the 82 degree 30 minutes east longitude is taken as the central meridian of the country. The Indian standard time is based on this longitude. Okay. Ma kan say to ang kanin India ram hi topic of cancer yan alay taka atant lang kan dito ka. 82 degree 30 minutes east hi central meridian ni in Indian standard time apo ka hi longitude base. Ah. The vast longitudinal extent of India results in a time difference of almost two hours between the eastern and western parts of our country. The earth rotates once in 24 hours and each degree of longitude takes four minutes to face the sun at each highest angle. Okay. Since there are approximately 30 degree longitudes 
between the eastern and western extent of India. The time difference is 30 into 40 equal to 120 minutes or 2 hours. So there is a difference in the local time. In the Aram longitudinal extent, he has our aim of angin. Eastern, the western parts of India are here in time difference. Oba dark card in more. Two hours in time difference. Ka oba. Ama kan soy to ang kanin latitude le longitudinal extent. Ka 30 degrees. Well, ani kan tito ka. Dark card som di palit hungin. Ko well he. Boy kat a in rotate china. Soan di kriti na kanin minit di sel. Nihil nan kan amang. Ah, to the one in uh, Eastern and Western longitude, longitudinal extends to 30 degrees. Alone, the book one in 30 degree le covalent degree kazel and ni a hell hell nakunga ahun man sat minutely a kakan kundi to one minute za som ni alo to a kanga to two are sakan le to one dark card ni alone ni don't tati na ni a to the young alone, it's one and dear nana Gujarata Zing Daru and the lion heta Aruna Chelpa de Sateka Twanin Zing Darli alone, it's all don't in any two. The time for India is set according to the time at 82.5 degrees longitude. It is also called the standard time or the central meridian of India. Mirzapur in Uttar Pradesh is located on this longitude. The world time is calculated according to the location of east or west of prime meridian. The time of this longitude is called the green which mean time. India is five and half hours ahead of green which mean time. Okay. Ama a kan soy to ang kanin 82 degree 30 minutes east is central meridian ni kan tito ka Indian standard time po ka he longitude base ala ki ani a kan ti a Tuan a world time he prime meridian east le west om na atanga tsut ani a Tuan he longitude a he green which mean time Di in an po a Tuan Indian standard time ni in hiya nin Darkar nga li at sanwe na in tao Di na lang dito a, in tiyan na Greenwich Mean Time a 7 a.m. ani ito a, Indian Standard Time a ito a, 12.30 p.m. ani doon, di na lang din ito. India has 29 states and 7 union territories. The area of the country is 3.28 million square kilometer. In size, India stands 7 in the world. Ireland boundary extends for 15,200 km and our coastline is about 7,516 km. Okay. In the Aram Ahian, we are going to state of the Union Territory. In the Aram Sao-Zong, 3.28 million square km. In the Covela Aram Lian, we are going to state of the Union Territory. Land boundary kan ni isaw so nga hi 15,200 km ni a coastline. Coastline kan di so an tui pui kam kan ni isaw so nga hi 7,516 km. Ani buka ni. India forms the Indian continent along with a few neighboring countries like Pakistan and Afghanistan. In the north, we strand site. China, Nepal and Bhutan in the north. Well, our eastern neighbors are Bangladesh and Myanmar. It shares its maritime uh, boundaries with Sri Lanka and Maldives in the south. Okay. In the Aram here, neighboring countries connected to northwestern side. Uh, here in Pakistan, ne, Afghanistan, and uh, North Lama, Mar Lama, China, Nepal, ne, Bhutan, and Ombokatin, eastern side. Uh, here in Bangladesh le Myanmar ram Myanmar ram tian omboka kanchen omboka tin ah tui pui kam South India la mahian Sri Lanka le Maldives te kanchen omboka ni 
India is a southward extension of the Asian continent. The Trans-Indian Ocean routes, which connect the countries of Europe in the West and the countries of East Asia, provide a strategic central location of India. Okay. India's contact with the world have continued to the land routes are much older than her maritime contacts. These routes have contributed in the exchange of ideas and commodities since ancient times. The ideas of Upanishad and the Ramayana, the Indian numericals and the decimal system thus could reach many parts of the world. Okay. Spices muslin and other merchandise were taken from india to different countries okay india's trade during ancient and medieval period was primarily through the sea routes when the portuguese first landed in india they came via the tip of africa or the cape of good hope it is important to note that the sea route to europe has now been reduced by 700 7,000 kilometers since the opening of the Swiss Canal in 1869. Ancient medieval Indian a uh, cap of good hope root lam i can swiss canal ka europe ram nena in sum don ton atang khan an mang tang kai e me ba e a root thui zong a pok ha he ta cap of good hope group ai kha chuan in a uh, swiss canal lam an kal khan europe ram kha kilometer sang sari nai khan in enge alo toi ta ka wang khan in a uh, swiss canal ka in sum don ton na swiss canal root a kha in sum don ton na atang khan in in the Aram Khan, Europe, in the Sumdon, in the Atang Khan, and the Mangasa in the Sumdon, Poka, all some Pae, Mamani. Thus, we know that the location of India and its strong historical links with its neighbors have provided the country a central person in Asia. Okay. The Khan in Heads of the Russia, Tiam Laule, Zona in the Nitsuan, in Life Win. Ah, minzo tayanga. Tuanin, e in homo akatan hianin. The sun rises two hours later in Gujarat than Arunachal Pradesh. Give reasons. Tiaka, the sun rises two hours later in Gujarat than Arunachal Pradesh. Give reasons. Tiaka, in homo akatan in in low. Siamanga not in low. Siamanga. And explain na atang te le in textbook ron sung kanin not in lao siya mga in lao zero vector niya in lao by hard vector niya.